Shalom Royalty, it's Ellie here, and this is part five of starting a prayer group. And this part is going to be called Keep Going Long Obedience in the Same Direction. This is another shorter chapter. So, tips to stay committed. Hardships and difficulties can arise as you continue to pray on your campus, especially if the initial enthusiasm of your prayer meetings start to fade. Don't give up. Try to gauge success how the world does. Faithfulness and obedience are the true measures of success. And here they have a testimony from Martin, Tennessee, where basically... Um, the person giving the testimony was like, you know, I was the only person being consistent for a long time and I would pray for hours by myself, all that type of thing. But, you know, right in the nick of time before they felt like they were going to give up, a lot more people started to show up and be more consistent. And there are some points here. Stay joyful. Count the cost. Stand on God's word. Review your vision. Numbers aren't everything. Get equipped. Seek out mentors. Stay joyful. Have friends on your campus and, you know, wherever you are, uh, your community, your church, whatever your quote unquote campus is. On your campus and regionally. Okay, let me say that again. Have friends on your campus and regionally who will encourage you. Encourage one another and do not grow weary. For in due time, you will reap a harvest. And the scripture reference is Galatians 6 and 9. Count the cost. As you are pioneering, difficulties and obstacles are normal, but it will be worth it. Sell it all to buy the, sell it all to buy the treasure in the field. Uh, scripture reference Matthew 13 and 44. Stand on God's word. Meditate on the truth of his word so that you have promises to cling to when hard times come. Scripture reference Psalms 1, 2 through 3. Review your vision. Write out your dreams for your campus and post them in places you will see often. Um, verse reference Habakkuk 2 and 2. Numbers aren't everything. Even if your prayer meeting does not initially grow in number, there is power in the agreed prayer of just two or three. Scripture reference Matthew 18 and 20. Get equipped. Find places to receive training and prayer during your times, during your breaks between semesters. Go to conferences and gatherings that will strengthen your vision and encourage you to keep going. Verse reference 1 Timothy 4 and 8. Seek out mentors. Seek out mentors who can pray with you and encourage you when you feel tempted to quit. Scripture reference Pro Proverbs 15 and 22. And that was it uh, for that chapter. And so um, next, I wanted to talk to you guys about this book, The Seven Mountain Prophecy, uh, Unveiling the Coming Elijah Revolution by Johnny Inlow. And this is a very important book for this time. It was written in 2008, but a lot of the things that are uh, said in this book are prophecies of today's time here in 2021. So it is very, very important for us to not only just pray for certain things, you know, asking for things, but pray for the nations, praying for the world as certain things pass on through, you know, our daily lives. We, of course, the Bible says we are in this world and not of this world, but understand that we are still being affected by this world. So when certain things happen in the masses, certain things happen, you know, in the media, in the government, it, we're not just exempt from those things. We're still, you know, if you have a television, you're still influenced by the television. If you uh, work at a particular job, um, things could happen at your job that are affected by legislation or affected by, you know, different rules and regulations that you don't have control over. Um, but the world has control over those situations. So we need to not just be aware of them, but at this point we need to pray for them. And those seven mountains that affect our culture the most are the mountains of media, government, education, economy, religion, celebration, and family. And so 
I do have a link in the description for you to get this exact book. Uh, it is an Amazon affiliate link. You don't have to use it, but make sure you get this exact book, The Seven Mountain Prophecy by Johnny Inlow. And just make sure you get that exact one so you know uh, exactly what I'm referencing. So in your prayer groups, you guys can intercede for the nations along with your campus, along with your community, along with your church, along with your camp. Whatever the situation is, make sure you're also interceding in prayer for the masses and not just your group of people. Even though it is very important for us to have concentrated prayer for our group of people, we do at this point really need to concentrate on the masses. So thank you so much, royalty. I'll see you in the next one. Tawara, shalom.